Hello everyone and welcome back to Divine Conquer version 4.5 Kastar is the High Elves again <laughs> This is the bane of my existence on this, on this channel, honestly But I'm not gonna rest until I fucking complete my goal uh, This is Shadow Alliances, no allies, 50 regions, all of this shit we need to What's our goal? KILL THE DWARVES! I'm sorry, I had to yell my goal is to kill the dwarves. I want to massacre them all. I want to kill them all. Why? So that the Dunedain can't ally them. So when I deal with the dwarves, I can go deal with Angmar, clear mind that Dunedain will not ally the dwarves. Then I have to attack the dwarves because they liberated Dead Man's Dyke. And it's like, uh, yes, yeah, I had a, I had a, a situation. Um, in my, on my laptop when I was playing, um, I actually did a lot. Like I conquered a lot of Eriador, and then the. Whoa. And then the, uh, the, the dwarves conquered uh, conquered the uh, Deadman's Dyke, which I was trying to liberate, by the way, to give it to the to the Dunedain, because I want them to rebuild the Numinas. Uh, yeah, no, um, didn't happen. Wait, you, you, you can't build a Numinas, right? You can rebuild them in... It, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. It's just stop some. Oh yeah, by the way, there's no invasions in Shadow Alliances, which means, <laughs> yeah, we're free to conquer the dwarves earlier than expected. So, first order of business. What are our key goals? This and this. Uh, first, take this into this, then take this and this. We're gonna try to cock the dwarves as quickly as possible. Uh, as you might uh, notice from my talks or my uh, playthroughs, uh, more, more precisely my Dorvinian playthrough, which I have started, which I hope you checked out. Um, I say uh, a lot. Shit. Uh, either way, the elves have gotten above. Elves, at least the high elves, are now considered the third biggest army in the game. Trailing behind the... The, the Numenorians, because fuck it, elves have to be nerfed somehow, and fine. This will be their nerf. No more! Also, uh, another change that I made. First and foremost, Mithlon. Huge changes. One, population growth. This is all the same. Uh, this will give us... This will give us the... Noble Return Legion. Once I rebuilt the Gwethi Meridine, and it will give us a seven armor upgrade. That's why, that's why, that's right. The Vorv, uh, the in in my lore, the Noldor rival the dwarves in terms Come of smithing, as they should. Let me remind you who built the rings of power. It wasn't the fucking dwarves. So yeah, the same thing with uh, our with our with the last lonely house. It has uh, the Calpeni Nobles, yes, that's the change uh, for... Oh, I can't show you guys shit. That's a uh, renaming of Mithlon Nobles, now there's Calpeni Nobles, and of course the Noble Return Legion immediately giving us. And uh, it, later on, once we rebuild the Gwefi Meta, it will give us 7 armor upgrade. It is, uh, it is the means to end all things in the world, because of course it has to. So yeah. I hate that there's Dunedain, but I get it why, you know, fine, the Dunedain will help the elves, Science. boo, the elves don't need no elves. humans, don't Set need no fighting. human help, but, ah, fuck it. Alright, so that's being moved, everyone has been moved, I'm recruiting the agent, yes I am, I'm recruiting the soldiers, yes I am, I'm moving the whole army, yes I am, good, uh, let's end the turn. So, another thing I have, kind of, I hate about the AI is... The Gobbles AI gets too many units, in my opinion. The Gobbles AI actually swims with units. Which I think is a little bit ridiculous, honestly. But, hey. They're Gobbles. They need it. Yeah, I know, I know. They need it, they need it, they need it. But it gets ridiculous sometimes. And maybe I'm just speaking out of a, a player who is inexperienced. Which, fair enough. I am completely am that. After all, I'm a person who failed an Elven campaign. <laughs> so, who am I to speak about anything? Um, yeah. Attack. Thank you very much. Let the ruins! Fornos reclaimed. Yep, 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 yep. I will gladly help out Fornos. My lord. Your orders.
my lord. The what is it you wish to discuss? Oh, you're bankrupt. You're not gonna give me any kind of money. It's good to see. You. Well, that seems Thank fruitful. Thank you for the trade. Farewell. Thank you for a trade. Let's move on. The Shire else. has reached. Shire is unbelievably rich. Shire is unbelievably rich. I'm even gonna talk about Honor Towers. Honor really? Towers is a gold like mine because of the Palantir. So, as you all know, Elves. my opinion on the Palantir has not changed. I do think the Palantirs need to be some uh, an unbelievably valuable resource that will have you. And, you know, it gives you the reason to hold them. Because right now, there is no reason to hold the town here. I cannot assault you. That's fine. This is taking time. I have not did. I have not committed the change where the recruitment time has been just been increased by one. I feel like it needs to be increased by two. And another thing is, um, I should have addressed that. I should have addressed that before I did this campaign. But the problem is, I completely forgot what the original numbers were. So I cannot do the change. Yeah. I cannot do the change. Wait a minute. Imladris starts with no bow. Oh, wow. Imladris starts with no Lindor uh, shield man, Lindor guard. L yeah, Lindor. These are Lindor bowmen and there's Lindor guardmen or Evil Lindor guard. Not be allowed to triumph um, this day. That's interesting. I thought. So, you might be wondering, am I gonna conquer the territories? No! I'm gonna burn them down. I just want a bigger pot, bigger units, so I don't have to worry about the motherfuckers. Um, honestly, I'm kinda getting, dis getting annoyed by having to clear up. So many units. I'm tempted to bring back to 90 the Eternal Legion. I am really tempted because it's getting ridiculous how much units the Gobos build. I and I hate the logic of uh, you know. So what if they lead? A, you know, have a lot of units. They're trash. Son of a bitch. How do you think Russia? Oh, sorry. How do you think the Soviet Union survived the first year of the war against the Nazis? By throwing trash at them. They were throwing B BT2s, BT5s, T26s and T28s like it's going out of fashion. Because they couldn't mount enough of the modern tanks. The T34s, the KV1s and the KV2s. And that's why they have a problem. That's why they were losing so much because they were throwing trash at them. But it worked. It stopped them. It stopped them in the fucking tracks. So... Remember, please, anyone who argues that just be, you know they're trash, that's why they need to have big numbers, is, a, is just a stupid argument. Because clearly, real life shows that's not true. That's just not true. Now, I might be saying, but this is fantasy. Yeah, which is even more ridiculous. See, the fact how the elves are capable in things. I am too much of an elf fanboy, damn it! Oh, my bias is getting too strong, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, I know. You know my bias is I can't control them at this point. I am a man who, who loves his elves. Maybe a little bit too much. But damn it. I, here's how much I, I, I love playing as elves. I wish there was a mod for Dark Souls 3 that, that makes, you know, character creation has elves in them. I would love that. Now, I don't know if there's an option for ear, you know, size of the ear to, cre you know, make it pointy. I don't know. But damn it, I am a huge fan of elves. And to be even more clear, not all elves, just the Lord of the Rings elves, <laughs> which is even weird. Like I hate, I don't hate, but I don't really like the the War Warhammer elves. I think they're stupid. But I love the Lord of the Rings elves. I love them. I like the the elves from uh, from Dragon Age. Too bad what happened to them, honestly. But I, I you know, the Dalish, the da right? That, that's what they call right. Dalish, the Dalish elves, for trying to maintain the old ways, if I remember correctly. So I, I love it, you know. But yeah. And if you're ever one, if you're ever wondering, will I ever play a Mass Effect, a Mass Effect, a Bioware game 
on this channel? Here's an answer. When Bioware starts making good endings, I will play the fucking game. I will play their games. But right now, none of their endings are good. None of them. I'm, dis I'm extremely disappointed in the endings of their games. I mean, we all know what a piece of shit Mass Effect 3 was. Mass Effect Andromeda is a piece of shit in general, like... Damn, dumpster fire of a game, actually. And I've seen the, I I've seen the enemy. Everyone has seen the animation, let's be real here. Everyone has seen the enemy. And I, was, and I had hopes. I had hopes. I love the Mass Effect series. How they ended three... I mean, how to kill... Again! I l I'm, a, I'm a huge... I'm a biased person when it comes to, to characters. Which is stupid as fuck, because they're not real. But I'm biased. If I love a character, I will, I will be, I you know, I will love that character. There's hard what, what a character can do to make me not like them, basically. Because I, I love my, if a character is well written, there's the little to the nothing fate. they can do the that will make me stop loving them. This is Which is stupid, really stupid, but I can't, you know, that's it. I'm a very character-oriented person, and I love a character, I love a character, and I'm, you know, I hate to see them die, do something, or happen to them. I just don't want to see that. So, you know, and to see Shepard die like that, it's just... <sighs> Why can't people have happy endings, man? I might be saying, it's war. Yeah, motherfucker, but it's a story. It's a story that you're writing. I'm pretty sure you would write a happy ending for your own, for your own fucking self. If anyone has a fucking chance, they will write a happy... I'm, I'm cursing too much, it's actually getting annoying for myself. If anyone would write a happy ending, they would write... If anyone is writing their own story, they would write a happy ending. Let's be honest with ourselves. The fact that they ruined Shepard like that, you know, that her, her... Her slash his death is just horrible. Because no one would love to see Shepard die. No one. No one wants to see that. Now... Is there a part of the, the, the fans that would see that? Of course there are! They're fans for everything, for fuck's sake. There are people who like Andromeda. I mean, hey. And that's on them. Not on you, not on me, that's on them. You can just say their opinion is trash. Say no, yeah, you know, maybe, you know, you, you can have an opinion, but your opinion is... What the fuck have I done? Oh. Where is it? I, instead of typing Mifflin, I typed... There we go. Uh, you know, opinions can be horrible. And you can just, dis uh, you know, um, disregard them. I, I don't know why people think that all of a sudden everyone's opinion is equal. No. No, no, you can have an opinion. No problem whatsoever. Have an opinion. But if your opinion is horrible, you should disregard someone's opinion. <laughs> If it's horrible, pure and simple. Now, if it's uh, it depends on the theme, of course. Like, Come, my brothers. of course, it depends on the conversation. Not every conversation is equal. So, if it, if you're talking about historical things or your uh, orders, or uh, let's see, some very, you know, hard defined things then you cannot you know it's a it's, a, it's not an opinion at that point but then it's a fact it's not an opinion anymore but uh for example for example i go with the the dragons or drakes in dark souls um i i disregard anyone's opinion when it comes to dragons in dark souls the dark souls lore because they're wrong i mean the, the game itself shows you that you're wrong if you think the dragons if uh if you think a Dark Eater Medir, or a Bristol Drake, as I like to call it, call, yes, it, uh, call it. Sorry, the, the gender, the Dark Souls, the dimension. dragons in that in I Dark Souls don't have a gender because they transformed no, humans. No, Either way, point is, um, until we meet again. they're not immortal. Elves. They can be, you know, they can be pierced by anything. And if you remember the lore, which a lot of people want to I cite, the beginning scenes ahead. and all that shit, it's clearly stated that lightning is the weakness of dragons not metal and the fact that they're getting destroyed by metal clearly shows that eh, something's wrong here something is wrong here clearly and yet people ignore that fact people ignore that but they will accept like yeah, yeah they're all drakes no they're not no they're not they're clearly you know they're, they're clearly uh calamite 
see all the big dragons in the in the Soul series are drakes. They're not real dragons. The only dragon that is a dragon that has the, a power in the, in that in Dark Souls, what is God basically, is the everlasting dragon. He has the power to turn people into dragons. <laughs> I don't understand how that's a foreign concept. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I, at this point, the official lore should be basically that uh, there was no age, there was age of dragons, but not like you know, dragons were living. Like there's multiple dragons. No, it's pretty. I'm pretty sure it's basically humans prayed the everlasting dragon. The everlasting dragon made them into drakes because dragons cannot reproduce. It's impossible to reproduce for dragons. So. Um, that's why they, you know, there's no baby dragons in Dark Souls 1 or in Dark Souls 3. In Dark Souls 2, it's, it's, it's it just moves away from the lore completely, so it's fine. But for Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3, and the Everlasting Dragon makes humans into dragons. It has that power. Also, another sign that it, it is basically a god, uh, it's omnipotent. It doesn't give a fuck about the world around it. It doesn't care. Whatsoever, it doesn't care. You can do whatever you want to it. It doesn't care. It doesn't retaliate because it knows it can destroy everything. And it doesn't care. So, and another reason why uh, why it's basically all, you know, the whole dragons thing is... Sire. Gvin had a whole army with him when it comes to Help. hunting, you know, dragons. Come, my and they were successful. The they were not losing the war. They just couldn't pierce it strong enough. It took something p more powerful to pierce the scales of those drakes. And that was uh, lightning. Seif, probably wanting more power, because he was probably a mage who got transformed into a dragon or a drake, uh, wanted more power. Uh, and decided to... Basically, for more power, betray his brethren. Now, could it be because he had no scales, he was more vulnerable to physical attacks, and he was maybe afraid of that? I should stop. I should stop saying he. Like I said, dragons don't have any kind of. Uh, they don't have a, a gender. They, they're just. I, they're it. They are beings. So, but it's it's just you know, Seif clearly a male name. But anyway, point is. Um, Follow me. Excuse me, what? I'm gonna stick you. This is a first. They're actually trying to. Sire. What? Follow me. Take it for the hour. I mean, let's stack him. I have to. I don't want him to get it close to him, Andres. Um. Put an end to this evil. And you might be wondering, well, how about Priscilla? Well, Priscilla is an experiment. I mean, again, the whole Seif uh, ra raping Guinevere or having a sexual relationship with Guinevere to have Priscilla is stupid as fuck. First of all, again, Drakes don't have a sex. <laughs> they don't have that. How? How would Seif do it? So clearly, it's either born from. It's probably born from scales. Probably a, a experimentation with uh, Guinevere's blood. And see if scales. If not that, then maybe a sub different kind of DNA. Maybe Seif's blood. No reason why Drake's wouldn't bleed. Let's be honest. No reason. So yeah, um, I, I I I'm heavily against the opinion if anyone says that, you know. That the Drakes and Dark Souls are dragons. I'm heavily against that opinion. I think you know that's not true at all. Not at all true. Not what the game shows us. It ain't true. Plus the whole story about, you know, another pet peeve I have with the, the lore is... Uh, oh wow, it's starting to rain hard. Um, another pet peeve I have with is that people think that you know, you're just no, you're no one special and you know, all that story. Which was perpetrated by first segments of the lore, you know, favor. people reading it like he's trying to showcase having nothing special. In fact, you're very special as an indiv as a, a he as a men have slain the enemy 
as uh, undead, you're very special. You have the same power as Gwyn does. Same power. Gwyn is, uh, you know, capable of absorbing souls. Clear point. He absorbed the lo the the, lo the Lord Soul, um, and you're capable of doing the same thing. Only half the enemy force so remains. yeah. Now you can argue, well, Gwyn didn't absorb the soul, he had it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the Lord's soul is just an item. And not actually a son of a bitch. Hold up. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm gonna have to mute the mic. Because I have to see if there's anything I need to do. Is If there's anything outside I need to maybe bring inside. Because I don't know. Oh, uh, bring it back. Okay, I'm back. Yes, 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 I know, I know. Oh, all right. That's moved. This is blocked. 
We have a trade deal. Yes, we do. Time to fight Take it for the elves. Buzzer Doom. I'm tempted to auto resolve. I really am. But uh, honestly, it can be horrible. So let's save. Let's fight. fight After this fight, I'm going to end the episode. Because I think it's going to be perfect time, you know? <laughs> this fight should take around five minutes, six minutes. Orfang and Isengard. Who are you? I'm Isengard. What do you seek, Isengard? World domination. Oh, damn. Straight up, huh? World domination. No what, no ifs. Just, just, just world domination. The classics, man. I want the. What the fuck? I want the classic. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yep. It's going as expected. Please kill him faster. Please. Oh. Kirna is being encircled, and that... Yeah, there's Kalkwani Nobles. I'm, I'm gonna read the description of Kalkwani Nobles, but first... Let's win this fight. Which we desperately need to win. Because let's be honest, it ain't an easy one. There's a lot of enemies here. A lot. Hmm. Okay, I think we actually cleared up a lot of the... There we go. Only half the enemy force remains! Alright, nice! Only half? Well, we lost 7%. You know what? Could have been worse. Actually, usually it is worse. I was around, around 200 people on this fight. This one has been... Uh, <laughs> Amazingly good, I must say. Amazingly good. Seeing how it could have been, this is uh, amazingly well, uh, you know, going on. Ah, the mountain or hunkers. Hunkers? Hunters. My bad. Sorry. Impale them. I don't know why the. Now I'm pretty sure the, the bodyguard will not flee, but they will die. <laughs> nice. Disengage. Engage. Time to play a little bit of, of uh, shock infantry because clearly that's what they are. Early levels of, of shock infantry. Our men are in command of the city. Hmm. Okay. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This wow. Is a great victory. Worthy wow, that was good. Of that was good. Nothing more I can say, but it was good. If I said anything more, it would be a lie. What is that city? Finabel? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Finabel would have the the, the, tower, the black uh, palace. And what is this? I don't know. No, I need to ask, but it's something. Alright, Buzzroom is ours. 
Guess what's control. gonna happen? Exterminate, thank exterminate. you very much. Mission success, one... Uh, no! No, stop it! The... Uh, no. No. The last thing I want is ship. You know what? There we go. Let's go to 100 towers. The much better. The much, uh, much better. We're going north now. So that's been cleared up. Okay, let me let me read about the Kalkwendi Lords and then I'm gonna end it. So, Kalkwendi uh, Nobles, sorry, not Kalkwendi Lords. Second only to the Noldor Eternal Legion, these light lords of Noldorin realms under the leadership of Kira and the Shipwright make sure that the Grey Havens and great realms of Imladris and Ostinathil remain safe from any threats. With the fall of many Noldor realms, these nobles take arms not just to defend elven realms but the whole history and memory of elvendom in Eriador. It means leaving the ancient realms of elves let it be so, and let it be known that not just the Noldor are ready to die for the High Lord and the Shipwright. So yeah. Pretty, uh... <laughs> pretty cool. Noldorian plate, these guys can go to up to 7, which is superior plate, which, you know, I think is a, a very fitting name. You know, superior plate. I'm sorry, I just hate floors. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, or comment. I greatly appreciate the support. Goodbye.